folks and welcome as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me this evening back in the studio where I've not been for a while because I've been too busy out and about with Mrs H and the dogs enjoying myself going on holidays and all that kind of good stuff but I have noticed that there's been a sort of uh, reinterest, for want of a better word in some of my old videos namely the Letters from TV licensing series that I did and some of you have been asking me what's the best strategy in dealing with letters from TV licensing and you've been giving me your own ideas such as writing on the envelope deceased or mailing it back to them stating that the building no longer exists and saying would that work well you can try those ideas if you want but basically what you're trying to do you're trying to reinvent the wheel by far the best strategy is to do nothing as I've always said in these videos nothing is easier than doing nothing and both myself and others out there are living proof that it is by far the best strategy when dealing with TV licensing. Because the minute you respond to one of their letters, even if it's just to write deceased or, you know, give them a bit of abuse if that's what you want to do, you re you're responding and that's what they want. That's what those letters are designed for. They're full of rubbish and half-truths, let's face it. What they want you to do is panic and get in touch with them. And then they've got a foothold and they can start an investigation into your good and proper. Now, you've got to remember that even if it's named, it's not you they're after. It's just someone at that address because each address potentially in the UK is worth £147 to them. So they're going to try it on. So remember, guys, the best thing to do is nothing. Don't try and reinvent the wheel. I'm sorry to say there is no silver bullet, there's no clove of garlic or, you know, crucifix or anything like that that'll keep them away. Forget Wara, you know, withdrawal of implied right of access. I won't go into that in this video because it's too complicated a subject. But forget all those type of things. You know, writing to them and saying, you know, every time I receive a letter from you, we'll get a £50 bill and all this rubbish. Forget it. It's not worth it. By far, the easiest thing to do is nothing. Completely ignore them. Make your address a black hole where information goes in and nothing comes out. Because it keeps them in the dark. As this is the old saying goes, keep them in the dark and feed them shit, you know. Well, that's it. It's just a quick little video, really. You know, I've been getting a number of responses and it's always nice to hear from people, you know, once again. I always, uh, I'll always try and reply to you regarding TV licensing if I can help. I've not personally had a letter from them now since... March this year. I think that bit of luck's going to come to an end at some point. Usually from what I've seen on the TV licence forums and that, you know, it's usually about six months and then they decide they'll feel your collar again. Probably put my name on, which they'll have got from the records, just for try it on and uh, see if it'll jolt me into responding to them. Of course, I'm not going to. And if I do get the letter, I'll share it with you guys. But um, I'm living proof, and there's people who've been on this unla legally unlicensed for many years, longer than me. It's about three years now, three to four years I've been unlicensed. And I've not missed television. I've been too busy being out with Mrs H and the girls, making videos and doing other stuff to watch television. So just remember, nothing is easier than doing nothing. So until the next time, bye-bye for now.